you guys are just tired of getting one shot by monsters in Hypixel Skyblock, and you just want a weapon so you can one shot the monsters without hitting them four times to get a kill, well, so do I. So the first thing that you guys want to do is you want to grab yourself a raw fish, a magical water bucket, and you also want to get yourself a fish hat. Now, I know that a lot of you guys will probably be thinking that I'm crazy right now, but trust me, I'm not, and this is going to work. You then want to pull out 130,000 coins out of your bank, and then you want to go to the hub island. And once you guys have made it back to the hub island, you want to travel all the way over to the park. And once you guys have made it over to the park, you then want to go over to the first floating island, which is this one right here. But then you want to head over to the next floating island, which is this one right here, to the left. And then you just want to run straight up until you see this building right over there. And once you guys have made it over to this building, you simply want to put on your fish hat just like that, and then you want to enter into the building. You will then visit the Melancholic Viking. So the first thing that you guys want to do is you want to crouch in front of the Viking until he actually enables you to put your fish in the furnace. It should be any second now, but guys, this does actually take quite a while to do, but once you can, then you can just put it in just like that. And now you just have to wait for a little bit longer. Obviously, guys, you have to have like a high mana with this. I've only got 114, as you can see. So it is taking me quite a long time to do. And then you want to go ahead and put your water bucket in the lava, just like that. And then you want to keep on crouching until you can then get into the shop. So there you go. I finally made it into the shop. This one it actually took me a few attempts to do. I'm not going to lie. But this is the axe that I'm going to go ahead and buy. I'm going to buy the Vader's axe, which has plus 80 damage, plus 75 strength. And you can earn up to 20 plus coins from killing monsters which is actually really cool plus one damage per 500 kills which is op and then obviously at the bottom you've got plus one strength per 500 wood which is decent as i've got 12,719. so it's kind of a axe that you need to grind with and the kills only count for mobs that are level 10 and above as well so that's pretty decent so we're gonna go ahead and buy this raiders axe so this is the axe that we're gonna go ahead and buy simply because this is the axe that everyone wants me to get and as you guys can see i finally got it and i think i'm gonna be quite op now so we're gonna go ahead and actually test this out on mobs and i'm gonna see if i can one shot them okay so i'm back in the hub you would then want to enter the coal mine as we're gonna go ahead and see if we can one shot every single monster that is in this mine right now once you guys have finished going through the coal mine, you want to enter the gold mine and basically we need to get over to the deep caverns as we're going to go and test every single monster that is in the mine from the very top all the way down to the deep caverns. I then entered the mine. You then want to go to the lift operator. You would then want to go to the lapis quarry. So I found a few zombies. Let's see how much damage we do. 308. That's actually really OP. 462 damage to a lapis zombie. Now that's not actually that bad as three or four episodes ago it was actually taking me five or six shots to actually kill one zombie but now i can one shot them with over 400 plus damage which is amazing next up is the pigmen's den when i first entered the mine i couldn't really do that much damage to these pigmen's but now i'm actually managing to one shot them which is just amazing i'm just happy that i bought this axe i think this raider's axe is actually really op then there's the slime hill hello slimes let's see how much damage i actually do to the slimes guys we're one shotting these guys but they've only got 80 health this guy has 250 health let's see if we can one shot him hopefully we can and there we go we can oh my gosh this axe is so good right now then there's the diamond reserve now these guys are actually really op they have diamond armor and they're level 15 plus so they're actually really op and as you guys can see i am one shot in them as well and i remember when i first came into the mine i couldn't even do that much damage to these guys at all and they were literally one shot in me every single time as they're so op and i just did over 462 damage let's try and do a crit shot and see how much damage we do to them then boom there we go we just did 462 damage and i just got myself some minor boots as well which is decent and last but not least the obsidian sanctuary now these guys without a doubt one shot me every single time and as you guys can see i just one shot that guy what all right that is really op all right let's see how much crit damage i do 308 that i don't think that was a crit damage though let's see how much crit damage i do so we just did 308 i think the maximum that i can do right now is free 462 damage what no way oh my gosh i'm not actually taking like four or five hits to kill these guys anymore i can now one shot them and i'm doing a lot of crit damage to them as well 400 okay so i think the maximum amount of crit damage that i can actually do is 462 which is actually really good for this axe so if you guys are thinking about getting this axe i do recommend it it's really op and if you guys do get this axe then make sure that you go around and actually get zombies like this because obviously this will actually level up your axe and the more mobs that you guys kill in the 
mine, obviously you get plus one damage per 500 kills. So the more mobs that you kill, the higher the damage you get. And obviously, if you do want to upgrade this axe even further, you can obviously put enchantments on it and you can max out the enchantments completely and make the axe literally the best axe on the entire server. So I will get around to doing that. So once you've killed a load of zombies and you made it up to level 56, what you want to do is you want to go back to your island, you want to then go over to your enchantment table and you want to throw on sharpness 5 on this axe. And you want to go ahead and use 40 levels to put sharpness 5 on your axe. And I've now got loot in 3, which increases the chances of a monster dropping an item by 45%. And you've also got sharpness 5, which obviously increases melee damage dealt by 25%, which is actually a lot of damage right there. So we've just got ourselves a really good axe. This is a really freaking OP axe. So I'm back in the deep caverns. I just went back down to the Obsidian Sanctuary. Now let's go ahead and see how much damage we do to these guys. So we do 534 crit damage damage which is absolutely insane and we also do dude 534 damage is just absolutely amazing that is so much more damage i think originally i had around 120 damage maybe 150 but now i'm doing 534 and obviously as you guys just saw i do 356 damage without the crit damage which is still a lot of damage there's a level 1200 and i'm gonna die i just died <laughs> no way and that's what happens when a mob throws you into the lava pit so now that we've put sharpness 5 on this axe we need to go ahead and actually max out this axe and make it literally the best on the server so let's do this so the first enchantment that we're going to get is cubism 5 and then we need to get another enchantment which is critical 5 so let's go ahead and actually get that as well there we go we got critical 5 efficiency 5 and frost walker 2 which is brilliant and we've got ourselves the fullity 5 we also need that as well so we've got the fullity 5 and also lure 5 as well that's also another enchantment book that we need back to grinding once again I just got first strike four. So I've been putting all of the books together and right now I can enchant this one together. So I'm going to do that in three, two, one, boom. There we go. This is actually taking a long time to do and a lot of XP to do, but guys, it is going to be worth it. And the reason why it's going to be worth it is because as you guys can see, the enchants on all of these books are absolutely insane. But let's go ahead and get some more XP. And many hours later, we can finally combine all of the books together. Here we go, 150 levels of experience. Three, two, one, and boom. There we go. We have done it. Oh my gosh. Finally, a huge shout out to this guy, Axe XRVSA. I appreciate the help, bro. And also, guys, now I need to put this book on the axe. Let's see how much XP it actually takes for us to do. Guys, it's going to take 169 levels of experience just to put all of this stuff on my axe. That's a lot of XP. We should be able to get it done. And then we have fully maxed out our Raider's axe, which is amazing. After many numerous hours, I have finally done it. I have finally made it to 169 XP and I'm going to go ahead and put every single enchant on my Raider's Axe. Here we go. And boom, we have finally made our axe, guys. We have finally made it, guys. As you can see, we have put every single enchant that we can on this axe and we have maxed it out completely. We have finally done it. Oh my gosh. This has taken me so many hours to do. It's actually really late at night right now. It's like almost four o'clock in the morning. That's the reason why I'm not so energetic. But we have finally done it and it's so good that we've finally done it. Oh my gosh. So this axe is now now completely maxed out i'm gonna go ahead and actually see how much damage i do to mobs now there's only got one thing left to do as you guys know i tend to always get rid of the items that i don't need and that is what i'm going to do right now guys it was nice having the axe goodbye axe guys i'm just joking i still have the raiders axe i thought i'll just troll you if i got you then let me know in the comment section down below like the video for more and let's go but let's go and visit the end okay so we are now in the end let's go ahead and see how much damage this axe does please say that i can watch for the enderman wait what i can't come on you've got to be kidding me oh my god you've got to be joking me <laughs> yep all of that hard work for absolutely nothing. Obviously, I'm just joking, guys. You have to actually upgrade the axe as you go along. So, obviously, the more mobs that I kill and the more wood that I mine, the better the axe will get. As I've just got this axe, obviously, the axe won't be the best yet. And right now, I've got a 1,000 kills. So, that means I've got plus 2 damage. I can't exactly go around and one-shot everything just yet until I max out everything, including the wood. And to do that, I need to get a ton more kills and I need to go mining a ton of wood. Do you guys remember when I struggled to get 50,000 diamonds? Well, I now have 100,000 diamonds. I guess we can say I'm rich. Also, my obsidian minion has been doing a lot of work as well. I have now got 2,350 pieces of obsidian. But on that note, guys, I'm going to end this video here. 
I just like to thank you all so much for watching. We finally got the Raiders Axe, and this actually took me a long time to actually max out. So if you guys did enjoy this video, then smash that like button right down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Join the JTOM army. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers, so if you guys haven't subscribed, then subscribe. And I'd just like to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye, guys.